So hello and uh, welcome to another CADRED commentary. Just want to say at the start of this one that uh, um, you should probably be able to tell from my voice uh, this has kind of happened um, a day or two after prolonged birthday celebrations from me. So if I sound a little thick-headed for want of a better word I do apologise in advance. I've got a cup of um, herbal tea here <coughs> which probably makes me sound a bit more metrosexual than I actually am. Um, and we're just going to muddle through and hopefully it'll still be, uh, you know, up to its usual standard. Um, what we've got for you today is going to be a game from the EMS, that's the ESL Major Series, uh, knockout stages uh, between a Nexus and Copenhagen Wolves. Uh, just in case you don't know, a Nexus are a Finnish team, Copenhagen Wolves perhaps a bit more obviously a, a Danish. Uh, both are in our most recent top ten. Uh, European top 10 CSS teams, uh, which you'll have read by the time we get around to recording this. So um, it should be uh, a great game. And as with all these commentaries, I've not watched it beforehand. I've not looked at results. Um, it's a best of three, um, which unfortunately for us means that it's yet another match on Inferno. I do apologise about that, but uh, the um, there's other maps obviously to come in the series. But the first one was played on Inferno, so I know you might be getting a little bit sick of that map. I know I am. But uh, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go through it and um, see what happens. So we'll just set this off and again our lovely GUI courtesy of home. Uh, thanks very much for that. And we're just going to start the demo off. But um, yeah, absolutely, uh, there's some great teams left in this competition, the EMS. Um, still all the big names that you would expect. So... Uh, you know, it's um, shaping up to be pretty good, and this represented, I would say, perhaps the closest of uh, all the ties uh, that was actually um, left in there. So, um, very uh, exciting stuff. And after uh, some jiggery pokery uh, about the rules and a brief discussion, which I've uh, spared you the uh, embarrassment of having to watch. Uh, you can now see that we we're about to get underway. And the Finnish team here doing the uh, Insignia Cadre boost. The Finnish team is starting as CT. That means the Danish team, of course, are on T. And we've got our radar back as well, which is uh, great. Thanks for that, Valve. It's going to be interesting to see what they're going to do. Obviously, I, I would say they're going to play pretty passive now based on the boosting setup they've got on that site, uh, which you can see here. And... Um, you can see that Stonders, uh, who's probably the star player actually in the Nexus, he's just going to be looking and kind of sitting in that uh, graveyard area. It's very hard to hit him there when you crouch in that particular position, but you've got quite good visibility uh, on both sides. So it looks like we're going to have a big push here. Quad, I'm going to stay with Nico, who of course is the new edition of Copenhagen Wolves, but he's down, and that is all that she wrote. That is over so quick. And what a great uh, setup that was. It's a shame that we sort of... Uh, Missed that there, but, um, you know, really nice close control on the pistol round. And uh, perhaps a little bit naive there from Copenhagen Wolves to kind of run in the way they did. Uh, now we're going to see uh, a full eco. But, uh, yeah, nice and easy for an exit to get off to a perfect start, 1-0. You can see what they're doing here. I mean, just... Uh, Falk is just having a look around, boosting up into that uh, apartment area, which is always a, a good thing to do if you can do it. He's uh, gone for the pre-firing boiler. Uh, frag's being exchanged while that's happening. You've got uh, ANK there. Gets an entry. Nice time in there from uh, Rassajay is the uh, compliment. Now they've rotated out, and they're going to hit Banana. I think we're going to see some contact here. Well, somehow it's worked for them. XLO gets one, but Stonda gets another one, and then another one. Is he going to get the final one? No, he doesn't. So it's all on SMF, but that's great play again from Stonda, uh, who is known for being a great player, both at LAN and, of course, online. Played incredibly well at uh, the most recent I-Series, when an Exus actually attended an SMF now with it all to do. Trying to get one. Does through those coils but in the end the fact that he was outnumbered counts Maka says you know what I'm going to take this defuse and there we are and you can see that's put him top of the score charts a little bit artificially Stonder on the other hand on 6 for 1 probably the player that you should be watching uh, on there. with that in mind 
We'll see if he goes aggressive on this eco round. Well, seem to be a bit of confusion there over the bike. Here he is at uh, Arch. Might see some contact here. They are kind of pushing him in that area. And they're going for a uh, flash. Well, he's blinded himself, I think. Oh, maybe it was a counter flash. ANK just comes round. And with that AK, they've obviously gone for the uh, early buy. Falsy trying to do some damage with the Famas. Doesn't. Nico now went for the spray. But Mac has come round for those wrapper. Uh, well, actually, he killed him from the pit. I thought it was the wraparound frags. But uh, it wasn't. It just goes to show in CSS. The mad angles can sort of work out for you. And all of a sudden, it's all on ANK again. That round over quickly. Nico not really finding his form early here in the game. But ANK certainly has. There's a frag for him. And uh, he's only got 8 HP. So, it's going to have to be something pretty special. Rassigen and Maka are both pretty much on full health. It ain't going to take a lot to kill him. I'm Surely that should be called. And Well, he's got a headshot there, but it's all right. Maka makes up for it. But again, it's another round there with Wolves and the Nexus. That probably shouldn't have got down to a 1v1 situation. So, incredible scenes, really. And this is a good good eco spawn they've got here. If you look, they can get the rush into the areas pretty quickly. And it is going to have to be an eco or a deco because, of course, they have bought early there. So, it was a bold buy that didn't really pay off. There's a double nade. But, again, they've got the trade frags, which, of course, are always great if you're a terrorist. A bit of a lol as ANK headbutted that nade after getting a nice little uh, one dig. Rassage asks him, why can't you die? It's a good question. And uh, SMF just in this boiler area. Looks like we're going to get some sort of apartments here. Nico doing the hard work of uh, just baiting on Banana, but has come away with that Galil now. So he's got what he wanted out of that. And you can see what they're going to be doing. Falzu, that's a... Well, thought it was Falzu. That was a great shot in the end. Maka got the first frag. And, uh, yep, it's all over. Stonder just wrapping around. He's got the big green gun out, which, of course, that's what he's known for. He is an AWPer. Uh, pulled up some great rifle kills, and it's 4-0 now to an Exus. Just looking very comfortable indeed on this CT side of Inferno. Wolves. Let's have a look what they're doing here. Is it a bite? No, it's another deco, I think. So... Could be 5-0. These rounds have been close early on, but of course, don't forget, terrorist rounds are a very precious commodity on this map. And when you're kind of surrendering them early, you can make yourself... Uh, well, you can put yourself in a very difficult position. Make it a lot harder than it has to be. They're going again for this fast quad rush. I'm not sure this is a good idea, but what do I know? Falso and Maka just spraying away. Maka, well, he's putting his silent, taking his silencer off. I'm not sure why he's doing that, but it's all right. It's worked out okay for him. Because the wraparound frag from uh, Stonder was so quick. And again, it's just another round over from the immediate contact. So a Nexus are looking very comfortable here. Copenhagen Wolves know they're going to have to step it up. And this is going to be interesting because Nico, who again, he's primarily an AWPer. And I would say one of the better AWPers in Denmark. Quite underrated. Uh, he's now going to get out that AWP, I think, for the first time in the match. And going to go for this pick. But he's blind and he's dead. Well, I tell you what, he is not having a great debut here. You see the bomb just being balanced there. Some nice little bomb tricks from SMF. Not sure that's what they need right now, but well done. And already a man down. And you can see that good. He's pushed right down here to the bottom of Banana. And just having a few little opportunistic spams through that smoke, which we've seen other Finns pull off so well in the past. Now Wolves are going to open up with a barrage of their own. He's not there. You can see Falso again. Still in that cadre spot. Stonder. Nice little spot he's got there. And I think they're trying to play it slower here, Wolves, which is probably a good idea because when the rounds have gone fast, it's gone bad. Stonder gets one. Is he going to get another? Well, look at that flick shot there. We got that just in time. And now Stonder 
It's just having a look around, and it's over. Falsu ending the round. And you can see he's going to put out a little anger-inducing set of uh, smileys there, which you can understand how frustrated you would be if you were Wolves right now because absolutely they are not having an impact. Nico yet to frag. ANK top, but still not rocking a positive score. And then you've got guys at like Macker and Stonder, 13 for 1, 11 for 2, respectively. They're just dominating, and pretty much every time they push, uh, you know, they're just uh, getting wiped out, Wolves. So, we've seen a little push, I think, in apartments. Yeah, it was from Macker. We didn't get there in time on the thing, but it's another trade frag. And that's happened so often in this match uh, where they've had a quick little exchange and it's ended up a 4v4 situation. That typically does work in favour of the terrorists. Hasn't been happening here, so... Are they going to go up this uh, arch side again? They have been able to get up there. I'm not sure it's a good idea because Stonde is... Uh, he's, well, managed to get passive. He's trying to get someone through the smoke. Just going to drop back here. That's sensible. But as you can see, they've pushed through into the spawn area now. Going to uh, A site, trying to get around behind them. And well, you can hear the nades connecting. And there it is. That's why Rastager is dead. They've managed to get the bomb. But what are they going to do with it from this position? Well, XLO with a very... Uh, <laughs> it didn't look much like a headshot, but what can you do? All of a sudden, it's a 2v1 situation. That man, Stonder... With the opportunity for the clutch to make it 7-0, and will he be able to do it? I guess if anyone can, he can. That's pretty bad deagling, though. That's very bad deagling. Misses the one, goes for the uh, Devourer-esque quickscope through the truck, doesn't get it. And Wolves are up and running. Finally, seven rounds in, and they've got their first on the board, and they probably needed that. Don't imagine money's going to be a problem, though, for a Nexus. So, uh... And it looks like we've got a pause here. So, in true fine spectator fashion, uh, naturally what I'll do uh, is uh, I'll pause in line with the pause so we don't get it. But uh, just have a little recap while they're waiting. Um, and it's interesting because if that pause is maybe a bit tactical to kind of stop the momentum shift or maybe Wolves are trying to... Uh, you know, play some mind games of their own. Not quite sure what's happened. I guess we'll find out when it resumes. But you can see from this scoreboard here that Anexus very much on top, uh, both individually and collectively. Uh, Nico yet to frag. He's not going to be happy about that. He's the new player. And uh, obviously ANK at the top of the score charts. But still, a lot of work to do for Wolves if they want to turn this around. And uh, we'll see if they can do that when play resumes. And here we go, play has resumed. I uh, just had to skip through a load there. But um, it is back, and it's not quite clear why they had that pause. Just going to watch Stonder. He might be going aggressive uh, apps here. Misses that shot. Is, how aggressive is he willing to go with that AWP? And uh, the answer is there, not very. Wolves now grouping up in that mid area. Just going to put deploy a smoke, which will seal off quad side. They're running through a smoke now to get to Arch. Mac is going to get some action. He's going to get a face full of AK. That's what you're getting. And they're enjoying this going up Arch and kind of trying to push round uh, Spawn. We're going to quickly skip to Rassager. He is going to wait here. And uh, he should maybe get a frag here unless they pre-fire him. They've guessed where he is. It is a classic spot and he was a bit... Anxious, peaking. So now Stonda, Falsu, they're going to uh, be pushing down this uh, banana area. And uh, they're flashing over. Falsu gets one. Stonda with a great deagle. All of a sudden, this is a very promising situation. But no, well, Nico, he's come up big there. Gets those two frags, and that does secure another round. And all of a sudden, we're going to see this momentum shift now because uh, quite possibly we may see uh, an eco or deco here from an Nexus. Don't forget, they were dropping bodies um, quite heavily, hemorrhaging uh, kills, if you like, uh, in some of the rounds that they did win. So, money wise, 
They're not doing uh, too great. So they are going to have this little eco here. Nico's finally got his AWP out. And that... Uh, and I actually might get to use it this round instead of getting dinked. So that'll be interesting. But you can see what he's doing. He's just holding off that banana area in case they decide to do a classic eco push. Falsu went for the little creepy pick. Didn't work. And Wolves are going to get out and probably find that this web, uh, this bomb site, not website, this bomb site is going to be completely free. And yep, they're just playing for uh, the save here. Play for some exit frags. Well, oh my word, Rassager, that is bad. Whichever way you decide to describe that, that is bad. I can't believe he's failed to get the kill there. And yep, n there's no typing. But um, I think everybody knows that that was a little bit awkward. And all of a sudden, it's 6-3 now. Wolves looking the more dominant side. Not quite sure what's happened to a Nexus. Uh, they're going to want to win this round and kind of stop the bleeding. And you can see how it's changed. SMF, funnily enough, on the uh, Cadred Awards, I believe, for uh, Best Breakthrough Player. He's starting to step up his game. Now on 8 for 7, rocking positive scores. And Nexus again with that Cadre boost. And uh, let's have a look where Wolves are. Kind of just going to some sort of default setup here on the bike. Not a lot going on. It's very passive. Nico's looking into that uh, Amiga spot or dark spot or whatever you call it uh, from the Kodiak boost. And again, it just goes to show the kind of history that is in this game because we're talking about the Insignia Cadre boost. We're talking about the Kodiak boost. And of course, these players, these, you know, these teams haven't been around for years, yet the stuff they innovated way back in the beginning still being used in competitive play today. Falsu gets one, doesn't get the other, and uh, we're all white here. Maka has got uh, a kill, though, which is good. And you can see they're all up on quad. Nico's just kind of looking around thinking, well, he's got to be here somewhere. Yeah, and uh, Maka's down, but Rassager, he does get one. Nico turns around and stops good. Stonder now is going to fancy his chances. Gets one. Great flick shot from him. Nico, I think, switched to the rifle in order to get this clutch. And they're doing a dance, but Stonder says no. And again, another great round from him. And a clutch round it turned out to be. So it's 7-3 now to an Exus. But I can't stress it enough just what a great player he is. Just look at that. Tells its own story. 17 for 4 after 10 rounds. And uh, just a huge, huge player for his team. I think we can see from the uh, adjustment in the scoreboard as well. It was obviously Maka that had the problem when we had that pause. So, uh, not quite sure what's gone on there. But it wasn't talked about or typed about. So, might be something for the IRC logs. Look at that there. I mean, that's the sign of a confident orper Because there's just not a lot of room to mess around with. But uh, all you need is a few pixels when you're as good as him. And again, it's another slow build-up, but Wolves now are getting some contact. Well, they ran into their own smoke, I think, and good. That was good. He's just got three kills. Made that four, nearly the fifth. He's not going to get an ace, thanks to the efforts of uh, Falk is down here. And Gets another there. Great kill. Oh, he's spamming away from behind, and Rassiger just mops it up. I'm sure I'm pronouncing all these names wrong, by the way. I'm not very Scandinavian inclined, so all my Danish and Finnish friends can uh, have a laugh at my inability to grasp 
their crazy languages, especially Finnish, which is uh, probably the ugliest language on planet Earth, and I say that as a Welsh person. So Wolves spamming away in mid. But it's good again. He's kind of uh, starting to find his feet. And we'll, uh, we might go to him. Uh, seems to be hot. And yeah, oh, pretty much what he's doing, you can see, round after round, he puts that smoke down at the bottom. They're not certain. Uh, sits just behind it or actually in it. And as he does that, uh, it's just a shooting gallery. If they actually push through, it's all about who can see first. So... SMF just having a bit of juggling in the pit. Why not? This round's looking pretty good. Yeah, and they're just going to take some guns and hightail it out of there in Exus. So we are going to see an 8-4 round. Good's just hanging around here just to uh, see if he can get a few cheeky little exit frags. And evidently he's not going to. No. Taking no chances, Wolves not running around hunting them down. So just let them have the save. 8-4. And I think, you know, on this map on Inferno, the way it is now, five rounds is about what a terrorist team, a good terrorist team should expect to get. Certainly that's a platform that you can win on. Anything above that, and you've got to say you're in the driving seat. So one round really from that tipping point, as I would assess it, Nico there just getting some shrapnel. While that's happening, SMF's just pushing up and getting two kills. Well, it's obviously uh, an eco push by the sounds of USP and Deagle fire. So, guess it is not going to be too bad. But Stonder, of course, has been dropped that AWP. And uh, Rassage has got an AWP as well. So, they can do damage with this. And they're just thinking, you know what, we're going to leave Stonder. Forget that well. Good. His peak from the garbage, that classic spot gets two. And all of a sudden, this kind of mixed buy run, I think it was. And again, I couldn't see. I only heard the bullets. And it leaves XLO on 30 HP. And the bomb, though. And 40 seconds to play with. So, that could be enough to get something special happening. You can see that uh, it's a 2v1. And they've split sites, so one on B, one on A. That means if you get this entry pick, you are absolutely, definitely going to get the plan. Boom, bye. Should have expected that really XLO. I'd have uh, probably run around that corner a little bit more uh, apprehensive. But say hello to my little friend. And it's another round for a Nexus. 9-4 now and again. Just to reiterate, there you go. You can see who's uh, having a good game, who isn't. But uh, Stonder pretty much staking his claim for uh, an MVP award here. And Wolves now going very aggressive. This is a very aggressive strat. Just mixing it up a little. They're checking all the spots. And, well, they're blind. Nico gets one. Stonder, again, he's rotating and he's in that kind of uh, spawn area. Gets one. Bomb is going to be ticking away. What's he going to do? Tries to make the little deagle frag there. He's going to flash over into the garden. Knows he's still there. It does get the kill. Falk probably should have been in a little quicker. Was probably blind. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. He gets rid of Stonder. And now they know they've got to kind of hit them from both sides here. Falk and XLO are dug in. In just the right spots. Falk should have made that kill. Gets the one. Gets pushed by the other. Does get the other. And it's two. And that's 9-5. So all on this next round really. Five. Very good platform for Wolves to build on. Could definitely uh, win it with just that. Especially if they take the pistol, it gives them that kind of great platform on which to build in the second half. So this round, kind of vital really in, in the grand scheme of things, if not immediately apparent to, to be so. And of course, because it's the last round, money, you can see that Nexus probably didn't have the best bank balances. Kind of like Greece. And, uh, well, that was great there from Falk. Just pushed up. Gets the double. Bit of a fail from Stonder. Should probably stick to AWP. It wasn't uh, particularly great there. And Wolves are going to get this plant. Looking very good for this last round. Nico with another frag. So, we're going to see uh, what Ras can do. He's the last man standing. May as well go over it. But he's just going to get absolutely peppered with nades. Flashes, smokes. Probably bullets very soon. He's jumping around. Jumping into walls. 
just W in and spraying through it. Gets a shank in the back by XLO. And what are you going to do? So, there you are. 9-6 half time. Pretty good comeback from Wolves, considering at one point they're 7-1 down. Uh, that's a, a huge momentum shift, and they can be proud of that. Nico did get warmed up in the end. So, uh, we got a little bit of an AFK here, which means we can probably take stock of uh, just what was happening. And, uh, you know, it's going to be an interesting second half. Certainly, I think Anexis have the tools to take rounds uh, as terrorists. There's no doubt about that. Stonda is uh, a very good defensive offer, but equally, he's very good at opening up sites for his team. And he's instrumental in the way his team plays. Anyone who's seen him kind of play at LAN. I mean, a lot of their strats seem to revolve around that tactic, and that is open up the site and basically just push off that basis, off, you know, using the weight of numbers. So we might see a lot of tactics like that. Equally, Wolves, uh, you know, they're a team that uh, could be very good defensively, very good communications, uh, very good at uh, crossfire setups, and uh, work very hard on smokes and flashes. Quite a keen young team, but uh, interestingly enough, not all aim-based. You know that they're, they're not just reliant on their uh, superior reflexes. So it's a very interesting battle. It's very close poise, as we can probably see from the first half result. And uh, this pistol round is pretty much going to dictate who wins, I think. And there's uh, Wolves getting that entry frag, or rather uh, opening frag, I should say, because it is defensive. They're not really opening anything up. SMF gets the nade kill, runs in, gets another. So, the Nexus are just thinking, well, that round's pretty much over. It was not quite as quickly or as dramatically as what they did in the first half, but still. Good does get one, and there's headshots pinging all over the place here. Bomb is ticking, though, which is very good for the finances. Ras gets one as he's kind of wazzering around with burst fire. I'm not even sure how that happened. He does get dropped. And Falk, he mops it up. And the defuse is incoming. So Wolves there to get to put themselves on seven rounds overall. And uh, you can see there, two rounds, two frags, sorry, in the defuse in the opening round for Falk. Very nice indeed. And uh, we're probably going to see some... Uh, Interesting eco stroke decos coming in. I don't know if they'll full eco this. Looks like that's what they're going to do. Because they've got that plant, they know they can full eco this and, and do that buy on the third, as we saw again in the first half. So this round is kind of like a throwaway round. It, ultimately, it looks like the way they're playing it is mega aggressive. It's just a case of it's in the lap of the gods. Are they going to get lucky or are they not? And uh, Falsu just jump around that corner and get that one frag. Trying to get the other. He's going to get a nade off into there. Uh, just in that coil area. Oh, my God. Yep, throw your gun away. That's horrific, a team nade. And yeah, he's just not even going to contest it. Falk just runs around and gets the headshot. Nobody wants to see that. And that's why you've always got to be careful with your explosives, people at home. But, now, as I said, it was a throwaway round. They may as well have all type killing console. And uh, you can see here that they're just going to... Uh, Buy up, and they're spamming Glocks. I don't know if that's to kind of bait out the players. You see that quite a lot in games. I don't know if it's to kind of trick people, a bit of kidology. Oh, look, we're on an eco. Surprise. No, we're not. You know, I guess it's the psychology of the game. You try and hope uh, maybe someone's going to, you know, do something stupid and think, oh, they're on an eco. Five easy frags here. I'm, you know, I'm in a good position to get some kills. So it's going to be interesting. But they have got, it is a buy. I must stress that. They have got guns, and they can do damage with these guns. SMF, well, oh, just as a switch, I get a face full of flash. So I'm going to miss everything here, but Falk does get that opening frag, so I wasn't in the right place at the right time by accident. SMF, in the meantime, who I was going to switch to, he's been killed, so. It's worked out all right. Face full of flash for Falk again, and made that too. The white screen of what is usually death, but Ras is going to go and just get this bomb planted. Up on that quad side, safe plant behind those uh, 
Big hay bales. Oh, well, Nico just says, don't peek. Bye. Maka does get one, though. And what do you need to be... Oh, how's he not killed him? How's he not killed him? What you need to do here is just be careful. Maka should have got the frag there. Nico does with his deagle. Going to clutch that round for Copenhagen Wolves. But again, that was just another example of the early buy failing. And everything was set up to go right for them. And there you go. That has tied the game up now at 9 all. And that's a huge momentum shift. Let's have a quick look at the scores. Falk, 8 for 1. We'll be happy with that. And here we are. It looks like uh, a deco. Again, the bomb was planted last round. So they can deco this and buy in the next. Nico gets that opening pick. Falsu. Tries to get the guy at uh, Canopy. Doesn't come out of it unscathed. Only on 26 HP. Again, he can hear him. But Ras does get one... Uh, one kill there, and uh, just trying to get on him. Yeah, he's got all the way into the site. I thought that's what was happening. Has got an AK as well. Goes for the cheeky old gun throw trick. And that was, well, very prescient thinking there. Knew Nico was kind of hiding around in the ruins, and now he's traded that AK for an AWP. It's like gun game here. But he's only got 66 HP. Bomb is down. It's a 1v3. So it's still going to have to be something very special. Only 30 seconds. And I wonder if he's just going to think about saving it. Looks like that's what he's going to do. Which is uh, understandable under the circumstances. So just waiting in this uh, dark area as the time ticks down. Gets done by SMF. That's got to be so rage inducing. So it doesn't even save the AWP after that. Kind of a lack of ambition. And uh, well, things not looking good for Nexus here. Because they've gone from having a lead to now being behind. They're on the much tougher side. And... Uh, Money-wise, guns-wise, kill-wise, it's just been second place for them pretty much all this half. So There's only four rounds in, but they are going to need to start stepping it up. Copenhagen Wolves in double figures, but um, I'm definitely going to be staying with Stonda if he's got his AWP out. I'm going to try and work this pick, and this is so much, and this is so crucial, because this is so much what this team is about, being able to make these entry picks with Stonda's AWP. It really is. You know, they're flashing over, and SMF gets one with the rifle, and there it is. Great reaction shot on Falk. You'd pushed into the smoke, perhaps a little bit too close. Stonda's playing it real cautious. I wonder if uh, he knows. I was just letting his teammates push ahead of him, which is again why he's going to clean the area out. And look at that. That's just incredible aim. Stonda with another one. This is a huge round from him. And if they do go on to win this round, a Nexus, you know who the plaudits have to go to because he has just crept up Arch. He's made three kills. Uh, pretty much cleaned out of sight single-handedly. And yeah, it's a save. Nico just going to be watching this banana area. XLO is just going to be holding it with the rifles peeking through this uh, gap in the new box, as it's known. Probably it's because it's new. I'm just taking some sweet, sweet music there just to relax and calm down. But there it is. So the game's tied up again. And uh, Wolves uh, lose their first round of the half. And Nexus up and running. Stonda absolutely huge there. So again, it's, it's been so close. But this is pretty much what we expected uh, coming into this. This is why I was keen to pick this game for the next commentary. Because I just had a feeling that these two teams would be very evenly matched. And there's some great talent on display and perhaps some that not a lot of people know about. Nico's getting spammed through the window, does get one, that's brilliant play, that's a great entry frag uh, from Nico. 
Maka won't be pleased. But you can see how passive they're playing this. And Stonda just, again, with another one of his little pixel peaks. Well, they must do better. SMF had a chance to get a full clip off there before he died. Got a frag as well. So it's another trade there. Stonda's just going to look out for any rotators before they commit to the site. But again, this is the problem they've got. They need him to be the guy doing the peeking. So when he does that, it makes him harder to get into the site. Falk gets the one. You can see Stonda's just trying to get him, gets him. And he's getting spammed through the smoke. So frustrating when that happens. And you know somebody's there. You're not quite sure where exactly. And then, well, only the head to aim at, and for once, Stunner's aim not good enough, but he was in such a tough spot, and that, of course, it's another round to Wolves. They're going to pull ahead again by the smallest of margins. It's 5-1, uh, and uh, Falk, he's been playing brilliant uh, so far. Definitely uh, got to uh, give him some credit for what he's done. I don't just want to sit on Stonder, as tempting as it is, but uh, this looks like another... Deco around, and you can see what they're doing. They're just putting some smokes down, stop any early entry picks. They're just going to try and push this. Goods doing the old damn flash uh, bait routine. That's pretty good. I'm a big fan of that myself. Oh, look, now I can see. Yeah, oh, I'll just put a smoke down. No, I won't. So he's just going to kind of hang around at the back. But he has got a smoke, so uh, doesn't need to get that over. Just using the right angle to uh, ensure that spawn is shut off. So. Uh, Whoever's got that up can't do anything. XLO is just butchering them as they come up the quad. The bomb's down. XLO gets the last. And it was just the killing fields there. There's actually nothing they could do. It's 6-1 in the second half. And Wolves now are starting to pull away with it. 12-10 overall. Again, quick look at the scoreboard in this buy round. And Falsu, 0 for 7. Kind of mirroring what Nico did as uh, T. He won't be pleased about that. Nico again going aggressive here with an AWP. Not going to find anybody though. They're uh, spread out in this very passive default setup. Just looking at where people are. And a, a nade come through there. He's got good in the face. ANK, he's doing a great job with this uh, AWP as well. Credit to him. SMF just out shoots. Good, but good. Somehow got Falk. It was a bit of a strange situation. Obviously, both had pushed in. He managed to get one. Didn't get both. So, uh, you can see the next frag, if it goes the way of an Nexus, would tie this up in terms of numbers. Which would be very important. But uh, the old's a little bit grouped up. And again, you can see Stonda, please peek, please peek. Please kill somebody. XLO's there, ANK. So he's going to be looking, and Stonda just creeps round and takes him out. He has got the superior aim when it comes to the AWP in that battle, no doubt about that. And the SMF gets one with a clever flash. Now, XLO, this is interesting. He's deciding to go down Banana, which is the longer way to, uh, to get to the site. And Falsu and Stonda here getting the, the, the plant and. Oh, Falsu, do better. SMF gets one. He's going to have to reload, though. Stonda, in the meantime, he's took down Nico. And SMF had a sight of him there, but didn't want to shoot for some reason. I don't know if he was leaving the frag for XLO. It seemed a bit strange, but uh, XLO's going to get the last frag and the defuse. Did take his time rotating, but I guess all things considered hitting them from that other direction, not a bad idea. And here we've got this mirrored scoreline now of seven for one. What's going to be interesting is, are Nexus going to be able to switch that momentum in the same way that Copenhagen Wolves didn't show that character? Or are Wolves now going to close this out? And what we got here looks like it might be a, a fast banana push. It's flashes, it's smokes, it's everything. Stonder with an AK now gets the opening frag. XLO responds. He's spraying away, gets another, but does get taken down by Good. So again, we can see we've got this 3v3 situation. And whether these go your way, that's pretty much the you know the dictate of whether you're going to go on and win the game. So, bomb ticking. And Nexus just trying to get into some good spots. Wolves, on the other hand, just biding their time. Have got time to play with. Trying to go together. They know if they get one kill... 
They should go on to win the round. I'm not quite sure what's happened there, but yeah, Good did get that kill. SMF uh, out of the equation now. So ANK is just nading. It does get one. He knew they were low. This plant, though, he's kind of looking around while he was going for it, and Good clutches that round. So it's seven for two now. And Nexus hanging on by the skin of their teeth. 13, 11 overall. And uh, again, really such a close, close game. Quick look at the scoreboards. And XLO's jumped up there with that uh, little last frag defuse kind of combo. 12 for 5. And the round previous uh, to the one just gone. And Falk, of course, been kind of topping that score chart for most of the game for the Copenhagen side. The Nexus now just, they've switched, they've gone back to passive, looking for the picks, they know they need to get this next round, if they do that should put Wolves on a eco and then they could tie it up at 13 all, so this round again, it, it's so important, but uh, you can see that there's uh, a Galil by there and uh, Falk gets two. With his little peek. And Good responds in kind of a horrible fashion really. Just spraying at the floor like he's in a western dance cowboy. But uh, does get the kill in the end. Only on 13 HP. One nade's going to do it. They've still got the bomb here. It's uh, still within their control. But um, they're going to have to rotate out with it. It's interesting that they're kind of just creeping. One's running behind and then they're going to go for it. They're going to just give their position away sound-wise and they need to. Only 10 seconds left in the round. So it should be fairly easy to shut this down. It's just a matter of not dying. And there it is, the bomb down, round over. They're not going to get that up in time to plant it. And Falsu does get a frag, uh, which uh, he'll be pleased about, even though it's absolutely inconsequential. And nearly died at the end as well. It's 8 for 2. In this second half, so five rounds left, and uh, an Nexus know that they need to take uh, all of them if they're going to win this game. So, a big ask, a tall order. And of course, this is just the first map. Uh, Got to stress that again. So, there is another map to come after this, and possibly one after that. The best of three in the EMS knockout stages. <laughs> That's annoying. Falso, he's just hating life at the moment. SMF just <laughs> one bullet in him through some smoke. That's just horrible. That's how you end up with teeth marks on your mice at home. And uh, as that's happening, Rask gets another deco kill. They're kind of lobbing some guns around saying, come on, what are we doing here? No surprise. They've given an AWP to Stonda. And they're like, look, you go first, mate. You're the only one who's uh, really doing that damage on the entry picks. And you can see he's looking around. Again, so smart. <laughs> he just needs that pixel. Gets that kill. Probably should have died there. He's only got 14 HP. So it's uh, still going to be a tall order for him to uh, get this bomb even just down planted somewhere. But look at that. He's managed to outthink him there ANK and that's not the first time that's happened he is going to get this bomb plant and a, well SMF rushing in very aggressive trying to spam him and oh it was so close in the end but SMF just had that health advantage knew where he was as well is going to get that clutch and the Copenhagen Wolves now have got that nine rounds m m taking them to uh, match point And it's been a really good kind of second half uh, performance from them. Got to say as well, the Nexus have made it perhaps a little bit easy. There's been some players really not pull their weight on this T side. And, you know, again, without labouring the point, you can probably see who they are by uh, going over the board. SMF on the other hand and Falk. I mean, they've just been really huge. But, uh, you know, credit to XLO. Everyone pretty much has pulled their weight on Wolves. Nico there gets that kind of entry uh, opening frag again with the AWP. Uh, they just pushed him a little bit too aggressively. Not in numbers either, which plays into an AWP's hand when you do that. And they're spamming him, trying to just get a little cheeky deagle pick there. But uh, it's not going to happen. 
Falk in the meantime gets another kill and it's the, the Danger Man Stonder removed. I'll be glad to see the back of him. Good. Gonna need to do something good. Does get one. So, uh, perhaps if I throw in horrible commentary related puns, uh, he will go on to get the frags. So he's been sort of dinged. He didn't get a frag that time. ANK though on 6 HP. So he did some damage. ANK is just gonna drop to pit. Ras throws the nade, doesn't get the kill. I'm not even sure how he's evaded that. It must be some sort of ninja. But does get that one frag, and the guy in the pit is low. All he needs is this nade to connect, which it does. So there's another one down, but as he peeks, Nico just blows his head off. That's GG in the first map. Um, and you can see immediately there, Wolves looking much more comfortable on that CT half as they were to uh, the um, terrorist half. Great first map from them. The second map is going to be train between the two teams. And I can't wait for that because, again, some great orping talent. Uh, Nico and Stonda going head-to-head -head on train. That's a mouth-watering prospect for anyone. So we are going to get that uh, uploaded as quickly as possible uh, to follow on. So you can uh, follow this yourselves and see the result. But that first map in EMS, it did go the way of the Danish side, Copenhagen Wolves. The Finnish team now with it all to do. Need to take the next two maps if they're to progress. Uh, so let's see what a Nexus can do. But I hope you've enjoyed this commentary. And uh, the next one you'll see, of course, will be train. Uh, from this game involving these two teams again.